All right, ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Thomas here, and it is time. Finally, I broke down, even though it hurts my heart, and purchased Super Mega Baseball 4 from EA Sports. It's really hard to say that, but that is the way of the world, and that's the way we're going to go. We are going to boot up the league again this season with FM23 running down on the stream. It's going to be time to set up a league, play through some Super Mega Baseball. I know this is a fan favorite. You all love to create your characters, and that's what this video is for, is to show you to go to. It's going to show you the link. I'm going to have a Google Doc set up or a Google form, excuse me, like last time. You'll create your player, and then eventually I'll make the players, and uh, we'll go into the way it's going to work. Uh, this video is going to showcase uh, all the different things you can do for the person and uh, what just choices and customization options you have. We will be playing a franchise. Now, there are some changes to the franchise this year. Um, one of the big ones that I want to cover, and I don't want to waste too much time because it's going to take forever to go through all the customizations. Uh, there's just some stuff there that I'll throw in. But pretty much it goes from season to season. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder this year because, well, they made the game a little tougher. I'm still playing on a high ego or going to play on a high ego. Just certain things like the players developing more when they're young or they may not develop at all. You can see here, it's got things, there's random skill change events, so an older player could get really good, and a younger player could not. Uh, it just depends on how it goes. And uh, obviously there's a way to train them and buy different events and stuff, and if you played any or watched this last time, uh, you would see that. They did add loyalty this year, a manager moment, so events will pop up, and you've got to decide which player you're going to favor, and whichever one you favor will like you more and the other one won't and at the end of the year the one who doesn't like you may just bolt so that is something uh, to uh to think about it's going to be very interesting to see what happens and a lot of people may end up on the free agent list because the way that i plan on doing that this year is to do a shuffle league and i'm going to showcase just real quick what that is is what i'm pretty much going to do is go in and make everybody and they'll be free agents I guess I could just uh, showcase this now. Is going to the shuffle draft, and let's say uh, uh, let's go to strong test, and we're gonna just uh, we'll source players from uh, two different leagues. We'll bring the original people in there, and then whoever's created on this one, that's fine. So we're gonna have thirteen hundred and six players. I'll obviously be going in there and added more uh, when I add you all and uh, the teams, and we'll just go in here and uh, let me just pick a regular. We'll pick freedom. So essentially what happens is you get a choice. So here's a, you're going to pick your whole team and it's kind of like some of the other things. So you're going to have a showcase of players to pick and you've got to fill your squad out like this. So it's going to be kind of a random shuffle. So some of you may end up on the main squad and then others may not. So here you can see we got an S tier Blamo Tamale who could be a great uh, speed or not a great speedster, but a big pat. Well, yeah, he's fast too. Power and speeder. So there's our center fielder right there. We'll go ahead and draft him. And that's all this is, is it to draft. And then we can see where other people go based on who they get picked, which I think is really cool because instead of us making this super tricked out team like we did with the Larry Ballers in Super Mega Baseball 2 or the Atlantic Drakes in Super Mega Baseball 3, now it's going to be kind of like you're going to have to just kind of build your team and like what do you, what, what do you, do we want to go ahead and take another A player here? Or do I want to get somebody, you know, a great pitcher? Here's a reliever. Or we can get Vern Turnberger, who could throw some speed and be a starting pitcher for us. Or we could take, you know, Kat Stanza here, who's a freaking amazing first baseman, and she's a great power hitter. So if I take her, there's two of our players, and then we're going to see all these other players get drafted by everybody else. And then those, those who don't draft will end up in the free agency list. And essentially here in the free agency list, you're going to see things like this. There's going to be good players like Slash Trips here and Never Walker and Tony Hammerhead. They're all A+, plus, but look at how much their asking price is. 18.4 million, 17.2, 18.3. If you look at the, in the top right, I've only got 15.3 million to go after players. I cannot afford them. So it may pay to not be super amazing this year because then you'll end up on a team. And uh, those who don't, you know... Um, you know, if you if you're too good, which I think I'm going to do a little bit of the randomness of this, because when you create the league, you're able just to hit X, which here it takes you back to a team. But if you're doing something else, it will allow you pretty much to just 
add people. I think if I actually go into franchise. So yeah, once you create the league, I can go in here and you go up there, you see why. And you could essentially just add a free agent. So this is pretty much how I'm going to create everybody starting with is let me scroll down here to the bottom because I think it's the last person. So if I just hit X, boom, it made a B minus player. And then we can go in there and you can see the stats, 35 power, 70 hitting or good contact, 20 speed, great fielding and arming. Uh, and you do it again, boom, B minus, C plus, A minus. So there's going to be a little bit of, you know, just um, randomness. And uh, obviously I'll take care of everybody. So there's not going to be any like D's or anything like that. So it's going to be really easy to add people in here and go in and just uh, customize them. But speaking of customization, let's let's showcase this. The way that the Google form is set up is it's essentially just going to go right down the line. Showcase what you're going to make your player out of. Obviously, I'm going to you'll go on there. There's an email and it's going to ask you for your whatever name that I know you by, you know, and stuff like that. You're going to give me a player name, all that good stuff. And then you're just going to give me, essentially, we're going to go down the list. So if we go in here and edit looks. So here you go. Now, I'm going to have to spend some time on this because they've added a function this year. So when you put in names, if you look, it can say names. Now, I'm not going to go through every one of these. I'm going to actually go through it quickly. And if you want to look to see if your A name is on there, then you will, because this is going to take quite some time. I actually may double check to see if they have a list of names that it can say, and I may link that on the Google Docs, because this could take forever to go through all these names. Pretty much most names are there, but let me double check here. All right, so essentially there's not, unfortunately, a list of all these so i there's nicknames and everything so i it there's i looked for a list online and there really isn't one so hopefully what you're going to just have to do is put a name down and i'll email you if something's not on here because going through all these names you know like we got names like case cash and then there's nicknames also uh, sometimes there are nicknames, but honestly, if most people are doing names, like I know, like, uh, like here's DJ and dip and dimples. So pretty much anything you can pretty much think of. And there may be a list out there for some of the other EA games that, you know, have this stuff. But, uh, if you're just wanting to know something, if you know how to get a hold of me on discord, I'll put the link to discord down in the thing. You can come on there and talk to me. We'll go from there. But yeah, there's no way I can really go through all these names because it's it it would just take forever and i think most people know what they're going to put anyway so you'll pick your first and last name give me a number uh i think zero 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 then up to 99 you have to be male or female sorry people um there are voices for this so i will go back to one here and we'll do the we'll do the females first Then we'll go into the males here. There you go. You got your options there. Now, depending on whether you're male or female, you have uh, physiques. And I'll just let Eric Woodard here uh, uh, show these off. So there's ripped. You have skinny, average, beefy. Uh, females do not have beefy. They have toned, uh, petite, and burly. 
That's all. They only have three choices there. So skin colors, you can kind of see them here. When you uh, put these in and there's multiple colors that use this little spectrum here, give me the column. So column one, two, three, four, five, and then give me the row. So like if you want, if you tell me column four, row three, I'll go over to column four, down the three, and that's going to be the color of the player. So obviously bats right, switch or left, right, left. Uh, personalities. There are different personalities. Droopy, tough, egotistical, relaxed, timid, competitive, jolly. And then uh, I think I said droopy and tough. So uh, they could kind of just how the player looks. So that's that's pretty much just the main ones. Uh, those are all uh, you'll you'll give me the way that you look just uh, basic on these. That's just the name and stuff. Here's where you start getting into the nitty gritty of everything. So I have to go through this and do all the females first since it's on female right now. Yeah, I see some stuff here. Uh, let me go ahead and take off the eye black here so we can see the faces. All right, so here's the fa the heads. This is the shape of the head, not exactly the face. But these are the female shapes of head. And I guess this is something they've kind of changed just to give it a little bit. So there's 12 of those. You have your different hair designs. And I'll try to showcase these the best I can. It's got a little hairband on it. And this is just what you'll tell me. So nine of those. Obviously, no facial hair for the women. Uh, hair color and eyebrows work the same way. There are, you can have blue and green hair in this. Uh, and so again, there's there's five columns and four rows on this one. So the first color you'll put in a be for your hair. So let's say you want to make her uh, purple headed. And then you want the eyebrows to be like yellow. You can do that. You just got to tell me. Give me the color. Speaking of eyebrows, there's different ones of those for males and female. So four different sets. Eye colors, self-explanatory, row column on that. There are different sets of eyewear. You, can, you don't have to have eyewear, but if you do, these are the different shapes of them so that you can kind of Figure out what you're going to do. Oh, I like the punk wear. The steampunk. Oh, those are like Macho Man Randy Savage ones there. So there's just, uh, that's Brett the Hitman Heart. Then back to none. So if you do pick them, the two colors here, this is could be any color. So you have the base colors. If you want a base color on predefined, give me the row and uh, the, the column and row, just like before. So if you want blue frames, that's your first color. And in the second color, you can be like, oh, I want those lime greens. Now, if you want team color, tell me that, and I'll somehow figure out whatever team they are and have to go in there. And a uh, uniform color scheme is what I'll have to pick up here. And then it can be your team colors. Eye black, let me get rid of these glasses here. Again, you don't have to have this. You could put none down but there's just different shapes. And in some cases it can go way crazy. And it will obviously look different depending on your face. Especially as a female. So you got 12 different ones of that. All right, so let me go back, change this to a dude. And then uh, obviously there's gonna be some different ones. So here's the guy's faces. Or not exactly there. Yeah, I guess it is their face too. And it'll look a little different based on essentially your hair and whether you put egotistical or whatnot. That's a chin and a half. You all just have to pick out, you know, what you find best and go from there. I'm just kind of excited because you all come up with amazing players they're always just different 
And uh, I, re- I, en- I enjoy making them as much as I do playing the game. So it's really neat on that aspect. There's quite a few men's heads. There's way more men's heads than there are females. 32 of them. So let me go back to this one so maybe we can showcase. So hair on the men. Oh, I already know I'm going to get some tuts on that one. You just see the slight differences. Oh, this this has different shader on it. There's a buzz. Little stripe action on the side. I was gonna say, I wonder if uh, 14 is the only fro. Oh no, we got some crazy hair coming up here. Well, there's some fabulous hair. So uh, 22 different hairs. Facial hair is the same way. Uh, you, you'll just have to tell me which one you want, and then we'll go with the colors. They do have some immaculate mustache and beard in this one. Uh, they did step up their game and give more options when it comes to that. Again, I just I can't wait to see what you all pick going forward. Hopefully you all could see that where it's yellow. The different mustaches and stuff. When I'm recording over here, it looks like it shows up pretty well. So I don't think anybody have any trouble. I don't know why he keeps acting like he's gnawing on the side of his cheek. All right, and then the stubble. That's like kind of the beard. You know, five o'clock shadow look. That's just some sideburns there. I don't even know. Oh, it's on the mustache there. So only five different ones on that. So. So again, it's the same way with the hair color. Give me hair color and an eyebrow color. Then go from there. Eyebrows for the men. I think there's even less. Yeah, there's only three for them. We've already went over eye color. We've already went over sunglasses. The colors on that and the eye black. So moving on. Getting to the body. So this is going to be pull down menus. Uh, you're looking at the pants here. That's the shin cut, the knee cut. They go up a little higher. The boot cuts all the way down. And then you have the ankle cut that's showing a little bit of the stirrups there. So you'll have to let me know. Undershirts. Now, if you plan on doing tattoos, you want to keep your undershirts either on none or shoulder, or maybe to the elbow, depending on how far. But uh, just double check. If you put forearm or wrist, the undershirt is going to come all the way down and cover all that up. So you have those options. Shoulders, obviously, just like right up there above it. And then as you come down, it's going to be a little bit more. So just keep that in mind. Uh, sleeves. If you do have long sleeves, you'll have different. So, yeah, you can see the sleeve. And actually, some of them will have multiple like this one has four colors to it. You can see the design. It's got like a honeycomb. That one's got like the military look. That's just a two-tone stripes. That one's got stars. So yeah, this, actually they, they have a lot of different colors on them. Let me try to showcase these. I just put in a ton of different colors. Let me go back a little bit here so you can see these. So, yeah, you can see like the different colors. There's four, five, six, seven's the stripes, eight, like a half stripe, nine. It looks like nine's got some kind of like stars or cards at the top and then back to none. And that's the same for both sides. So just uh, give me a number of colors you want. Wristbands. These could be team color or, you know, just whatever you want. They can either go on the left arm, the right. 
You can have them on both or then none. Wrist tape is the same thing. Uh, your tape can be any color. Just let me know. Left, right, a uh, little bit higher. That one's a little bit higher on the arms. Here's both. Six, seven, eight, and then none. So just let me know on that one. All right, moving down, cleats. Let me go ahead and change this. So the way the cleat colors work is the first two are the colors of the shoe itself. So you can see one and two there are the fronts. Three is going to be the color of the laces. And then the back one will be the color of the heel or the sole. So I'll put that as white so you can see that. And just see the difference of the designs of these cleats. And then you can tell me like what colors you want. They've added a number of different ones here. So eight different cleats. You'll have to give me colors. So here's your tattoos. Some of these are going to be kind of covered up because of his jersey sleeve, which... So I went in and changed so you could look at another player and I took their sleeves off. So here's your tattoos starting over. And they are the same on both sides. So you'll just have to tell me left, right, and which ones you want. Puzzle piece action on that one. There's a connect the dots. That looks like a World of Warcraft thing. We used to, have to do scales. That is a what, scorpion or something at the bottom. I can't tell. Let me take this wristband off. Or oh, it's wrist tape, my bad. I can't tell. I really can't tell what that is. That one's some different stuff. 13's down on the forearm. 14 up top and then back to none. And again, it's the same, it's the same tattoos on the other side. So just let me know. All right, going to gear glove. Give me five colors. Uh, this one is on the inside. Uh, the second one is on the outside. Third is the stitches. Um, the threads is the fourth one. And then I believe that uh, the padding on the inside is the last color. When you're up to bat, let me know if you want an elbow guard or not. Give me two colors. First color is the guard itself, and then the straps are the second color. Batting gloves. You can kind of see it there. Some of them have multiple colors. One only has three, so you'll just have to give me colors, and we could change them as the season goes on. Um, you just have to... We'll just have to keep it to where we can uh, fix it as we go. But you can see the different designs on those. That one's got stars on it. You still you can zoom in on the character, but you can't really do that on this for some reason. It's got like the Day of the Dead and then none. Ankle guard, same as the elbow guard. Give me on or off and then colors if you want it. Helmet styles. There are multiple different helmets. Football helmet. This is kind of like a girl. So six different helmets. And then you got to tell me whether you want a speck of pine tar and the resin or gobs of it on your helmet. At style, this is the finish of it. Again, if you get natural, these are the natural colors. So like if you want a cherry bat, you just tell me the the column and the row again. And uh, But if you pick some of the other bats that have different colors in them, you can put any color you want on it, and uh, you need to let me know. So the bat itself will keep the natural color, but you could put other colors on it. And I'll keep these three here so you can kind of see where the different colors go. So this one, it's a blue bat with the um, this, but just the uh, the handle itself is red. And then we got this one; it's kind of fades from. Uh, white to blue and the writing is in the red five 
we've got just two colors here for that one. Six has three three colors. So I could put like a bright red so you all could maybe see that a little bit better. So there's your six. Just looking at those again. One is the natural wood bat. Two is natural wood, but it's got some paint on it. And then you go to the painted bats that are after that. All right, back grip is just a tape at the bottom of the bat. It may be hard to see it there. Three is a lot of tape. Four is black tape. One is nothing. And two, I think there's just like a strip or something. And then it just, so pretty much from one to five or one to four is how much tape you want in your bat. All right, the thing that's going to take the most up of this episode is this, the actual swagger. And um, so the walk-up songs, I'm going to save the walk-up songs till last. I'll do those very last. But uh, here's your batting routines, just so you can see what they do when they get up there to bat. Everybody will pick one because um, every player is going to have their new. You got a little Hulk Hogan action going on there. But this is where your character, you'll see a lot of this whenever you come up to bat, obviously, you're on the team or not, because we'll play against you eventually, because we're going to play every team. There's different sounds for some of these. A little showboating on a lot of them, but that's what Super Mega Baseball is all about. God, that actually looked like what I did when I was young. So the batting routine is pretty much just walking up and getting ready to hit for those of you that want to know that. <laughs> There's, I don't even remember. I should have had my other sheet up so I'd know how many. Okay, 13's interesting. Oh, God. That one I know comes with a sound effect. It does a little pistol shot. So some of them, like I said, do have sound effects. I don't know them all yet. I've not played the game that much. I kind of wanted to get the video out so everybody could start designing their character and then moving forward. I mean, we're already on 30 minutes with this. Okay, so there's 16 of those. You can go back through there. Okay, once you get up, this is how they stand waiting for the pitch. You know, you can have your little wiggle. Kind of put this cattywampus so you all can see the different stances. You just have to see the one you like and then go and you can pause the video and rewind to do whatever you need to. So after their routine, this will just be how they stand in the batter's box ready to swing. Most of you who play baseball, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. But uh, those who may not and just want to have fun and have a player, women are welcome in this league. So I expect a lot of you girls to watch these videos to make a character. Uh, some of our most of our heroics. And Super Mega Baseball 3 and 2 come from the actual female viewers who made characters. So we'll see if that trend continues. And, you know, I don't ever play the same way on each game. It's always different. And this one has been changed a lot since EA got its hands on it. So 18 different batting stances. Uh, like I said, we're going to do the walk-up songs last. Let me go ahead and show the pitcher wind-up. If you do a pitcher, you're going to have some different stuff. So let me go back here and just grab one of the pictures. We'll get Barbara here. Oh, Barbara Frank. We'll go to her swagger. So you got five pitching windups. You can see her little kick throws. You'll just have to, if you're going to be a pitcher, obviously pitchers bat and pitch. So they'll have to pick all of these. And go from there and then obviously here's how they pitch you got the sub underhand kind of looking throw you got the low pitch which is kind of like a side arm you got the middle and you got the more traditional high so those those together will have different looks obviously if you pick the sub and pick some of these it comes off a little bit different so that'll be up to you people who want to be pitchers to decide on that so when it comes to abilities, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. The biggest thing you all need to do is pick what position you're going to be. If you're going to be a pitcher, you need to pick starting pitcher. You'll last longer. If you're a starting pitcher slash reliever, you'll have a little bit less stamina, but you'll be able to do both roles. 
A relief pitcher comes in for shorter innings, but usually has powerful stuff. And then you got a closer. That's the person they call on at the end of the game to stop it. Different pitches in this game, forcing fastball, cut fastball, slider, curveball, forkball, changeup, screwball, two-seam fastball. I don't think I'm going to ask for any of this stuff. I think I'm going to let the game do a lot of it randomized because we just got bogged down last time with that. Uh, and I also think that I'll have you order your stats, what's more important, and then I'll figure out how to do that. Uh, if you're going to be a primary position, let's say you want to have a catcher, and you want to, you need to put down, you don't have to. You can just be a catcher. That's fine. There's players that just play one position. If you want to add another position, make sure you let me know that because, you know, let's say there's somebody who can play catcher in first base or they're a utility, you know, infield, outfield, they could play both of them. You do get a penalty if you play your secondary position. So just keep that in mind uh, going forward. Big change this year is you're going to have to pick out your chemistry type. There's discipline, scholarly, crafty, competitive and spirited. And depending on which one you pick, that will either cause you to pick up traits as you play or lose traits because there's just different traits within that chemistry. And if you get players with the same chemistry on your team, there's bonuses to that as well. All right, so I think I ran through the majority of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the there's there's 99 walk up songs, which is less than Super Mega Baseball three. There's like 108 on that or 100 and something. So I'm just going to put those play them and then I won't say anything. And once you get to the part of the video where you've you picked out everything, the link to the Google Doc or the Google form is going to be below. I'm also going to post it in Discord and uh, happy creating your player. I can't wait to see all of you in the league. Maybe some of you will be on my team. Maybe some of you will not. I might not even be on my team. As you all remember last year, my player decided to take his talents and he played for another team. So that's just the fun of it. And uh, it's going to be really balanced this year with all the teams and it's going to be a lot tougher. So kudos to you all. I Like I said, I'm, I'm grateful for you all to be part of this. I've got a great audience. And when I do things like this, the turnout's amazing. I do want to put a disclaimer. Please only make one character. There was a couple people in Super Mega Baseball 3 that thought it would be cool to just change their name and do multiple characters. It may be fun for you, but just for other people, it just takes a chance for them to get on a team somewhere and uh, it just spreads the pull out. So don't do that. Make one. But as always, thank you all so much. Uh, I'm going to do the walk up songs and uh, I'll let the video go with that.
have a big money item here. Let's get her going. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, I'm Stephen Thomas. Subscribe if you have not. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is hit that like button down below. Also, if you want to support the channel, there's a plethora of ways to do that down in the description. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.